Hey everybody, for all that you don't know me, my name is Jordy Johnson at Carving Fusion. And this wood carving here today, it's basically going to be for the very beginning wood carver. It's going to be a flower on a heart. You know, hearts aren't my favorite thing to carve, but it's not really carving the heart. I thought it might be a good thing for Valentine's Day. So, because this video should be released on Valentine's Day. So you can see here I have my typical shape of a heart. You know, I, I had a piece of paper, fold it in half, then you cut it, and then you put it back out, and you got two exact same sides of the heart. But here, when I cut when I cut it out, I drew on an extra piece here, right? So you can see there, it's taller here than taller here. This is the original line. Because I'm going to draw a flower on here, okay? I'm going to draw a flower, and the petals are going to wrap over top of the heart. Flower is going to be here. They're going to wrap over top of the heart. So I gave myself extra wood up top here. So when I carved the petals into the top, if I didn't have this piece up here and just did the normal heart, when I carve the petals onto the top of the heart, you're taking away from the heart itself. So giving this extra wood made, well, simple, gave me extra wood. Now I won't be carving into the heart itself, if that makes sense. Always give yourself more than less when wood carving, guys. Because carving's not like sculpture. Carving, you're taking away. Sculpture is you're adding. Okay, so always more is less than when you're wood carving because you can always take it away. You can put it back on, but that requires gluing and all that stuff. So anyways, this video is going to be really concentrated on the, the beginning wood carver. And it's going to be concentrated on the undercuts. Okay? And feathering away your cut marks to make the flower seem like it's raised off of the heart. Okay? So let's get the camera set up in the overhead and start uh, drawing and carving, I guess. Okay, so the first part of this uh, silly little heart carving here is, I don't know if I said this is a true one inch western red cedar, about eight inches by nine inches. The first part is where do you want to have the center of your flower? So let's just do, um, I don't know, we're going to do like one of a typical carving fusion, like a uh, dogwood flower. So let's put the center of the flower right up here. Okay, so then our flower is going to just kind of come down here with the petals. And we'll leave this side of the heart. We don't want to do too much over here because we want, we still want to make sure it's a heart. You could carve this whole thing with a flower and make it look like a heart because it will still have the shape. But we just want to leave this part and this part so you can whatever okay so here is the center of our flower then let's do a f let's just make it simple and do four petals okay so just do a line like this straight through and a line right here there so that will make one two three four petals i don't know what kind of flower this is going to be and well i just really don't care flowers aren't my biggest thing favorite thing to carve but they gotta be done. Okay, so two. I always tried to make my flowers look like cherry blossoms because I love the Japanese art, but they never did, they just never do. Even when I drew them on, you have to give them big, big things in here to make them look like cherry blossoms, like that in there. And cherry blossoms also have uh, five petals, not four. Okay, so let's do some straight cuts up and down on these lines and then feather away this, um, the wood outside of the flower to make that flower seem raised above, okay? Let's just start with that to make it real simple. Okay, so I've realized I've drawn my petal too close to here, right? Too close to this part of the heart. That's okay, I'll try and scale it back a, a bit and I won't carve anything outside here once I carve this flower this flower in. So I got my cut saw extreme taper burr on. This thing's a little bit worn out now. I'm gonna to need to get a new one really soon. But you can get these cut saws if you go to the description below, you'll get to the cut saw site. Use the code C Fusion. You'll save yourself five percent. But anyways I'm just gonna go straight up and down on these marks here. Cut straight up and down all the way around. And um, not too deep. Grew deep says maybe uh, less than quarter of an inch. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see my cut marks there. It's about, uh, I'd say, close to a quarter inch. So now I also cut the center in too. I'm gonna round this so it's like a little ball in there. So now what I wanna do is I got this. This is another cut saw taper burr, the medium aggressive one. So it would be the silver one, okay? It's a straight one, right? So now what I wanna do on the edges is just feather it away so it, so you don't see that cut mark there, all right? So let's just do it, uh, um, just hold on a second here. Okay, so there you go. Now you can see the flower sticks off the highest, right? I kind of slowly feathered away the wood. It's really hard to show you guys angles, but let's like, so example, there's not a cut there and a big bump, right? It just, you just slowly remove the wood. So it's like a slow uphill away from the carving because this carving's in layers, right? So this will be the first layer. Now let's work on the second layer and that will be the petals. Like I said, we're going to kind of make our petals go down here and up over the top, right? So petals are just kind of like uh, fist scales. We don't want to have any petals over here. It, it doesn't make sense in real life, but it's a wood carving, so it's not real life. So for the petals, I start off in the crack. So here's a crack of the flower, the split. I start off in the split. You can make the petals however big you want. See? See this here? There's a split, so I'll put the center of the petal in that split. And this one needs to start coming down because you want you want your flower to droop down, right? Gravity. Just think of gravity. I can't quite get... If I go this way between the split, this petal will be too big. So I just make it smaller. They don't have to be uniform. Okay, so... We'll put one more petal up here, coming down from gravity, right? And then let's just, screw it, let's just put another one here. You know what? This just doesn't make sense to me. Maybe I'll put some real real thin petals, wrap it around in here. Anyway, so you see the petal here. Now let's put one in between. See the split? They don't have to be straight. You can give them curves like, watch this. Just, just have fun. Okay, so I'm going to get these petals oh, around the top here. So go in the center. And it's just simple. You just draw it so it's wrapping around. So because we have all this extra wood, is way too much I left there where that line is, we have tons of room to play with our, pet, with our petals, right? Like more is less than wood carving, guys. Hey everybody, when I was just filming, I realized the pen wasn't dark enough, so I redraw them on with the brighter red uh, thing so you can see here. See how they wrap around? Okay. So um, I guess I don't need to film, but I'm going back to my, uh, this burr here, the Cutsall Extreme Taper Burr, and I'm just gonna cut straight up and down on the lines. I won't do any feathering out, okay? I'll just cut all these lines straight up and down as best I can. Then I'll be back. Okay, so you can see all our cuts are all in here. Around. I just want to say when you're doing all these cuts, you know, your mind is going to see all these lines and it's going to start being like, oh, I'm not doing it right. I'm not, I'm not following the lines right. And there's this line, like, look where my thumb's tapping. There's this line, there's that line, and this line. I forgot to do a cut right there, but it's okay. Just follow your lines that you draw on because it's your pattern. And you know, as long as you draw all your lines on first, good at first, you're fine. So just don't let your mind fool you, right? Just stay true to your lines. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I got this uh, taper burr on here again, cuts all, and I'm going to remove all the outside of the flower. I'm going to go all around here and remove all this extra wood to make the flowers seem raised above like I did with this one okay so I don't think I need to film that so I'm just gonna like I said remove all the outside wood even on here so all this where I'm tapping will be the outside wood and I'll remove all that all the way around 
to make the paddles uh, raised above. Okay, so you can see there that the flowers are sticking out higher now. So, you know, when you're looking at this piece that's tricking the eye, right? So you want the flowers to look like they're raised above the heart itself. But when you look at this way, this point right here, because I took it, I slowly feathered it away. I got to do a lot more. I slowly feathered it away. Now, this point where I'm tapping is the same height of where the flower petal is. Can you see that? But you look this way, it's not the same height. That's what I'm talking about with uh, wood spirits. Feather your wood away so you don't see any cut marks. So now let's start working on these flowers. So let's see here. So, um, okay, so we want to make these flower tips look like they're coming up and over, right? So this is going to be higher. This is going to be higher. All the tips are going to be higher. So we got to bevel, like say this flower example, okay? This petal here. We got to take all this wood down here and here because it will make this tip look like it's higher. And sometimes you have to do like, let's look at this petal here for example, okay? So we got this petal, excuse me, we got this petal coming out here, this one. But we want to make this petal seem raised up right here. So we have to feather this wood down here, okay? So it will look like the branch is coming out on a side, right? So you, it's coming out, it's this part. Sorry, guys, it's really hard for me to explain. I'm sure some of you guys can explain it better. So this looks tucked underneath this petal. Does that make sense? So let's just work on this piece right now. I'll get the camera in the overhead, and I'll show you how I take all this down and make this petal seem like you've seen the whole thing, right? Because we got to take it down here too to make this petal raised up. I know it gets confusing, but you guys just, I'm trying my best here. Same with this one, right? So we need to take all this down to make it look like it's underneath this petal to make this petal look raised up, right? It's like scales, overlap, overlap, overlapping. Okay, so let's work on these ones right here. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a live carving here. So sorry for the noise of the Dremel and stuff, and it's going to be full volume. I'm not going to mess with the volume. So let's take this pedal down here to make this one raised up, okay? Now we got to take it down right here too, because we need to make this pedal raised up. Okay, so you can see that. Now it's starting to look raised up. Now let's work on some other ones. Take this side down. We gotta take this side down to make this pedal pop. Okay, so let's take this one down more. Okay, now look at this one. This this one is just a quarter of a petal, right? It's all, it's underneath, th this petal is underneath this petal. So let's feather this down to make it look like it's coming up and out. Take it deeper down in here. Okay, now this one.
Okay, you see how that's working? See how all the tips are popping out? Okay, so we got this one here. It's a full pedal. We'll make sure you see the full pedal. Now let's just remove some of this, tapering it down underneath the pedal. Okay, so you see how that works? See how, how all this is, this one's tucked underneath of there? This is tucked underneath of there? Tucked underneath of this pedal? Okay, so I'm still carving live here. See how I got them all, see all they all pop now? All the tips are higher. So, one big thing too when you're doing flower petals, is the more that you excuse me the more that you carve uh let's see here in this deep down in here okay the deeper that i carve that i don't say carve too deep but carve it as deep Gur deep says carve it as deep as you want but the more that you get down there the better effect you're going to get okay so these flower petals themselves so let's look at this flower we could just leave it the way it is clean it up and call it done but let's make it so some of these petals are tucked on underneath other petals. So I, just looking at this camera screen, I want this to be a full petal. I want this to be a full petal on this side anyways. I want to tuck this petal. I want to tuck this under, okay? So these, this is going to be a full side of the petal, a full side of the petal, and I want to tuck this one under. So I'm going to spin it around. Taper it away. See how it, it looks like it's tucked under here now? It looks like it's tucked under there. See? Here's the full pedal. This one's tucked under there. Rides above here. Tucked under there. Rides above this pedal. And this one's fully tucked under both sides, right? Okay, so the next part's going to be <sighs> little undercuts. We're not going to do too much here. But you can see how it's all starting to pop. Okay, guys, so you can see I just leaned up against the back wall there so you can see the shadows. Still got to do some undercuts and stuff like that. So on to the undercuts first, but... Uh, <sighs> Oh no. Jordy. I thought we don't do hearts at Carving Fusion. Jordy. What the hell is this heart here? Well, Grumpy Jesse, you haven't been around for a while and um, one of the longtime subs asked if I could carve a flower for Valentine's Day. Here's a shout out to uh, Rebecca Andrews. So I figured I'd just uh, do a silly little flower on a silly little heart. Well, Jordy, I'm just pissed off about the hearts. We do not carve hearts at Carving Fusion. Well, Grumpy Jesse, I guess we do now. Well, why, Jordy? Why? I told you, Grumpy Jesse. A sub asked me to do one, so I'm doing it, okay? Well, I'm just pissed off, and you know what? Screw you, you damn hearts. I'm taking off for a month. I'm going to lock my spare room downstairs, and that's it. I've had enough of your crap and your bullshit. Grumpy Jesse, you just need to shut up. No, you shut up, Jordy. You shut up. Oh, boy, that grumpy Jesse's sure something else, isn't he? Damn hearts. I didn't want to carve this anyways, but Rebecca's been a sub for a long time. So here you go, Rebecca. 
Ah, oh, that grumpy Jesse, what a pain in the butt. Hopefully I don't, hopefully he does leave for a month and I don't see him. So we got these little um, cutters here. You get these on Amazon. These are the ones I like to get, the big teddies, but they're all the same, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think they came from all the same manufacturers. So I think I'm going to use, um, these are my Amazon store too. I think they're 20 bucks. So you get 20 burrs, it's a buck a burr, right? So I think I'm going to use a little burr like this. It's like a little flame burr with a point on it, like a little football. And that way you can get under there and hopefully it will do some burning too. So when we do the undercuts, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to go at a real good angle. We don't want to do it like this, up and down. We want to get it as flat as we can get to get under there. Because then we'll have to remove, because we're going to have to remove our undercut lines too, right? So anyways, let's hook this up and this video is probably going to be a little bit long. Okay, so I got the burrow in my um, Dremel 4000 flex shaft. It might burn at the same time. So oh, we're, gonna, we're not going to go too deep with this. This is just a quick little carving for us. Okay. I could have carved this side a little bit lower. No big deal. I don't care. Hey, is your heart perfect? Is any heart perfect? Well, if you have a perfect heart, well, uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Anyways, my heart's not perfect. So you can see there the undercut marks. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about undercuts and feathering away your marks. See, see that line there? All the way around. Now I want to feather that out so you don't see that line. See it? See how it gets brighter? Take all that away, smooth it out, feather away all your cut marks. Look, you can really see them up there, all those bumpy marks there. Those are cut marks. Feather it all out. Taper it. There, look at those big gouges. T make this nice, a nice and smooth transition. Like a slow uphill. Okay? So, uh... I have this, this is another, cut. you guys don't have to use cuts ball, cuts all burrs. Sabretooth makes good burrs too. But I'm going to go use this one and slowly just kind of turn the music on and just slowly work it away and make it a nice smooth transition. That's all. Okay. As the battle continues, I got it all sanded as to as good as I want to get it. The more time you guys send span, sanding, the better it's going to look. You guys can see here. See that bump there? Right where my tip of my thumb is there? That's an undercut mark. I didn't take it down low enough. Don't care. Okay, so let's get some paint on this sucker. I already signed it. I got some uh, red dollar store paint and some uh, more expensive, what's this, mulberry paint color stuff. It's not pink, it's almost like a purple color. So I don't know what to do where. I think maybe I'll do the heart red, sand it, maybe I'll burn it first. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn the wood just lightly, okay? Then I'll paint it red. Then I'll scuff it up with sandpaper. Then I'll do this um, flower with this uh, mulberry color. Scuff it up. Maybe figure out a color for the center. Maybe black or yellow. And uh, I might just leave up the petals uh, natural wood color. Okay, so let me start painting here. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a super light burn. You guys don't try and burn inside here. See how it's not burnt in there? Because you're gonna lose your detail. Okay, so I got it all burnt. Now I'm just gonna paint it with red. Try and get underneath all those other undercuts. And uh,
so you still get the highlights it's it's just an experiment that's all it is for me anyways so you see the highlights under there let's go, let's go around we got to go all around here and do it too so I'll do all that and I'll be back okay so there you can see leaving the white the red paint more inside there kind of gives it like a glowing effect so what I'm gonna do now I thought it like I said guys just as you as you do I had no idea how I was gonna paint this or finish it so I figured those tips look nice burnt so I'm just gonna lightly go over this whole thing with the burr with the torch okay you can see I tried to hit each flower tip with the uh, torch Now um, let's paint this flower, this huckleberry fin, muckleberry stuff. I went over the flower with the sand, sandpaper and the edge of the heart too. If you ask me, it's ugly as hell, I'll tell you the truth. It's just a heart with a flower on it. I just think it's ugly. That's my own personal opinion. But um, so let's try and make it better anyways with this uh, Bombay mahogany, my favorite color, poly shade. Okay, so let's give this whole thing everywhere a good coat of this. You guys move your pieces around at different angles because when you use this stuff or any kind of painting, sometimes you might miss a spot, right? So if you always rotate it, lighting, lighting is very important with any type of art, I think, in my opinion. So I'm just putting it on thick. And I'll wipe it off. I'll just finish off a little bit more here and I'll show you. I'll wipe it off quickly. And I'll just des I'll decide if I want to pull out my little flap sander and smudge all the colors together, get some high points out of it. Okay, so here I got a I got an old T-shirt rag. Yeah, that blends together a lot better. Okay, so I'll finish this and I'll be back. I'll decide if I want to sand the high points or not. myself I still think it's ugly as hell <sighs> yeah I do um, it's just something that I'll kind of tuck away in a drawer or something maybe one day Pocahontas will finally come along and I'll say look I made you something who knows I might get laid um, I might get um, tomahawk I don't know what I was gonna say but anyways that's it guys this video isn't really about the uh, art, it's about how I do it and the, the uh, tools and burrs I use to do it. So I hope this is uh, able to help somebody. And uh, that's basically what it is, about helping and giving back. So there you go, Rebecca. There's your Valentine's Day flower. Yep. And I won't be making another one ever. I think Grumpy Jesse would be happy to hear me say that. Oh. Oh, what is it? Chainsaw carving season. My tent's still flooded. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this video has helped you. And hope you're doing good. And, uh, oh yeah. Happy Valentine's Day to all the single hot moms with, um... Stripper bodies. Just kidding. Happy Valentine's to uh, Happy Valentine's Day tomorrow, today, because this video is going to be out tomorrow, to all the ladies out there. Okay, bye.